risk scenario idea really comes from the National Academy of Sciences here in the United States, which has said that a scenario is about the only way that you can combine disparate factors into a single setting. And so what the total risk scenario does, it has in it, and we insist on four dimensions within that scenario. There has to be, first of all, human behavior. The second, there has to be the environment, and we're not talking about just weather, we're talking about financial or, or social environment. Then there has to also be uh, decisions made by people who are in charge of it. And then finally, you have to also have uh, the role that uh, the physical world plays. So let's talk about uh, Princess Di's death in terms of a total risk scenario. In there, you can tell that there was management decisions made. You wouldn't call them all managers, but the people that had responsibility were making decisions. That included the driver. It included both um, uh, Princess Di and her escort. It included people who designed the, the tunnel in which they had found the, the accident. It includes also the the conditions is what night instead of daytime, so the uh, visibility was restricted. There also was a, a drinking involved by the driver. So, and the medical services that were provided were delayed for well over an hour at the scene because of French policy on uh, transporting injured people. So, when you put these all together, they form a total risk scenario. The thing about the scenario that's really significant over traditional thinking is that it has to include the dollar loss or the economic loss resulting from this scenario. Why? Because we're going to take some efforts to to preclude it and we don't want to overspend in that area. The only way that you'll know that you're not overspending is if you're looking at the amount of loss that you're precluding.